Glasgow is a city famous for its architecture, both old and new, attracting tourists from all over to admire its famous buildings. These include buildings as old as the city itself, such as the City Chambers, the Royal Infirmary, Glasgow Cathedral, Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, the University of Glasgow, Central Station, the People's Palace and the Mitchell Library. There are many modern attractions in the city of Glasgow as well, such as the Armadillo, the Science Centre, the Squinty Bridge and the Erskine Bridge. Glasgow is as famous for its architects as it is for its architecture. Alexander Greig Thompson is one such a man. Born in Stirlingshire in 1870, he created architectural wonders in and around Glasgow, such as St Vincent Street Church and Caledonia Ch Road Church. His buildings showcased many Greek designs, such as columns and Greco-Roman motifs. He is also responsible for creating a lot of tenement flats, many of which still stand and serve their purpose today. Another very well-known architect is Charles Rennie Mackintosh. Born in Glasgow in 1868, Charles attended Glasgow School of Art, which he later came to redesign and which still stands as one of the most impressive landmarks in Glasgow. He designed many other famous attractions, such as a house for an art lover in the Willow Tea Rooms in Sucky Hall Street. Mackintosh's talents stemmed from his love of architectural design into furniture and jewellery also. A modern and innovative attraction in Glasgow is the Homes for the Future project thought up by Page and Park Architects, which runs along the east edge of Glasgow Green. Created by means of a competition to celebrate Glasgow's 1999 Year of Architecture Festival, the homes showcased some of the most modern designs from up-and-coming architects, who competed to win a plot of land to build their design in this prestigious area. Some of Glasgow's architecture provides a very functional yet stylish service. Hazelwood School caters for children with multiple disabilities aged from 2 to 19. It was designed to create a safe, stimulating environment for both pupils and staff. The architect sets out to create a design which incorporates visual, sound and tactile clues. It aims to eliminate any institutional feel and houses its own swimming pool amongst other facilities. The school won a Design Share International Honour Award.